What's going on everyone and in this video I'm going to rank all of the MCU movies based off their Rotten Tomatoes scores. Now this should be a very quick video and this is including Deadpool and Wolverine. Now in 34th place we have Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania with 46% on Rotten Tomatoes. Then we have The Eternals with 47% at number 33. At number 32 we have The Marvels with 62%. At 31 we have Thor Love and Thunder with 63%. At number 30 The Incredible Hulk with 67%. In 29 we have Thor The Dark World with 67% as well. At 28 we have Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness with 74%. At 27 we have Iron Man 2 with 72% on Rotten Tomatoes. Avengers Age of Ultron comes in next at number 26 with 76% on Rotten Tomatoes. Thor is in 25th spot with 77% on Rotten Tomatoes. Iron Man 3 is at number 24 with 79% on Rotten Tomatoes. Black Widow comes in at number 23 with a 79% as well. Captain Marvel also got a 79% and that puts us at number 22 on the list. Captain America the First Avenger got an 80% and that makes us at number 21. At number 20 we have Deadpool and Wolverine with 80% currently. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 with 82%, following that with Ant-Man at 83%. Then at number 17, we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever at 84%. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 at 85%, sitting at number 16. At number 15, we have Avengers Infinity War at 85%. At number 14, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp at 87%. At 13, we have Doctor Strange at 89%. At 12, we have Captain America the Winter Soldier at 90%. Then we have Captain America Civil War tied with the Winter Soldier at 90%, so they could go 11 or 12. Then following that, at 91%, we have Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings at number 10. Then at number 9, we have Marvel's The Avengers at 91%. Also at 91%, we have Spider-Man Far From Home at number 8. At number 7, we have Guardians of the Galaxy at 92%. Coming in at number 6, we have Spider-Man Homecoming at 92%. Coming in at number 5, we have Spider-Man No Way Home with 93%. Then we have Thor Ragnarok coming in at number 4 with 93%. Then we have Iron Man at number 3 with 94%. Then we have Endgame at number 2 with 94%. And at number 1, we have Black Panther with 96%. And as just a reminder, the Rotten Tomato score does not reflect the score the critic actually gave to it. It's just how many percent of the critics said, yes, I recommend this movie or not. So it's a very simple system. So that doesn't give like an average like IMDb does. But that's the list for today. And if you liked the video, just give it a like. May God bless your day and you have a fantastic week. And thanks for watching the video.